what's going on everyone welcome to the rabbit my youtube channel so my gpus are still turned off ever since the ethereum merge we did help out ergo a couple times but i have been focusing a little more on cpu mining and checking out various coins now recently i did decide to attempt solo mining monero which is xmr it is a huge coin for cpus it has a massive amount of hash rate it's one of the least profitable coins to actually mine if you're a pool miner or something so i was like you know what i'm gonna try my luck and solo mine some monero are you currently mining flux are you mining flux to fluxpools.net fluxpools.net is owned and operated by flux team members so they have the networks and the miners best interest at heart fluxpools.net also has a dedicated mining program so the first one is five miners each week will win 50 dollars in flux just for keeping a 95 percent uptime this will last an entire year there's also an uptime loyalty reward program weekly loyal miners for those with 97 percent uptime amount based on hash with a max of four flux per one kilosol and bi-weekly loyal miners will receive with a 99.5 percent uptime one miner will get 1.7 kilosols for 48 hours mine flux today at fluxpools.net and run on flux and something very unexpected happened so i was expecting if i could hit a block somewhere between four to five days now it's estimated with my amount of hash rate i have around 285 kilohash worth of rigs on monero that is about 25 rigs counting the latest edition the 7950x in between testing that on various al algorithms before i can get that thing into my workstation but i went in there in under 24 hours i found a monero block that's right under 24 hours so that's around 84 usd or something uh, a little over a hundred dollars when it comes to canadian funds and that works out to be per rig about four dollars and 75 cents per cpu rig in less than a 24 hour period extreme extreme extremely great luck so i believe the luck on that was around the seven percent mark that's absolutely insane so I'm going to continue on with my solo mining XMR voyage. Who knows if I'll hit another block again or not. I will eventually. We know how that works. It could happen at 3% luck. It could happen at 400% luck. We have no idea. Let's just 100% luck based. But yeah, I was very excited. I did hit that solo XMR block. So the pool I did utilize, it was Hash Vault, I believe. Yeah, Hash Vault Pro or something. It is the third pool on Monero and it's sitting around 10% of the network hash rate. Now, Monero is a very widely known decentralized privacy coin. And people knew that I was on Hash Vault and they're already telling me to move to a smaller pool because they need to spread that hash rate around. We look at other coins right now, you're sitting at 50%, 80%, 60%. 30%, 45%. It's crazy how much hash rate some pools have. So, you know what? We should, everyone out there should take a page out of Monero and say, hey, decentralize your hash rate, move it to smaller pools. Now, I'm thinking about if I do hit another block within the next four or five days, I might continue my journey, but I'll spin up my own Monero node and just mine to that. Because like I said, decentralization is the key to all these projects. And you can't get more decentralized if everyone just ran their own nodes. It's spread around everywhere. Point to your own node, validate some transactions, and we have a nice, huge decentralized networks across the board. So that is my plan so far. I'm going to continue on with a little more XMR mining. If I run into a big bad spiel, then obviously I'll swap to something else and try to recoup some power costs and everything. But for now, it's looking not too bad. And again, I will start spinning up my own nodes and begin mining to them because that's also a lot of fun too. Like if you remember, actually some of you guys might not remember, but before there was pool mining and to mine crypto in general, you had to run your own node and then mine to that there were no pools out there this is all new a lot of newer people that's recently just getting into mining or came in in 2021 and started just pointing out a pool you know mining yourself some ethereum on a gpu making mad money everything's awesome you know things with crypto never used to be like this you have to do a lot more work just to get up in mining and then when you were mining you weren't making very much maybe a cent if you were lucky now everything is in the red in terms of gpus now gpu mining is not dead 
it's just in a severe damper right now. Now I do believe GPU mine will come back. I do not think it's gonna come back to, uh, you know, bull run Ethereum levels. It's gonna take quite some time and maybe a few cycles for that to happen. I don't see GPUs really starting to pay for power at 10 cents or higher anywhere within the next year or two so it's going to be a long hold on the gpus here i'm not selling anything but they are going to be a, you know a little bit profitable moving into the next bull run and stuff i still think that's going to be around 2025 we may see maybe 80 cents to a dollar after power on gpus at that point with ergo and flux moving up but who knows what's going to happen maybe something will explode but i don't really see anybody doing anything special right now there are some great projects out there flux and ergo but i think they're still too young until they finally mature until we actually see some massive price gains on there but again it's crypto we have no idea what's going to happen but for now cpus they're definitely paying the bills at this point in time i'm going to keep running them i'm going to keep mining on them i've loved cpus for quite some time and you guys that follow the channel you guys all know this while we're here i just want to point out i am almost done testing out this 7950x are there any other algorithms you guys would like to see i do have curve ash coming up minotaur x as well as pufferfish for bamboo and then after that uh, there's still a couple coins nothing too major and then i'm probably just going to throw this thing into my workstation i know all the numbers i have all the hash rates down and i can move to whatever i want and at that point i won't have to worry about how much power i'm consuming because once this goes into the workstation it's going to be very hard to test power consumptions with a gpu on it as well as an aio and all these other things all right guys so just a quick update we smashed out an xmr block within like record time so that was amazing I still have some ASIC miners going, the Jazz Miner over there. There's still a lot of other profitable ways to mine other than GPUs. And I have been seeing or forecasting this for quite some time. Don't throw all your money into a single way to mine because I feel being more diverse is a better option because now we're kind of, you know, in a bump in the road on GPUs, but all these other things are still remaining profitable and paying the bills. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.